Hi friends, many people are writing under my video on topic of the metaplasia and more contacting me asking a schedule appointment uh, with me because they are writing that results of endoscopy is bad, but their gastroenterologist does not want uh, actually to, to schedule next endoscopy. And they're very concerned that their intestinal metaplasia will get converted into cancer. So they are very upset. They said, why is that my gastroenterologist is not concerned? I ask them usually to send results of endoscopy to me so I can look. And quite often I say that, well, I am not concerned either. So in this video, I want to explain to you why neither gastroenterologist nor I are concerned about that. So let's go to the PowerPoint presentation. Mm. So uh, here on the right, you can see that the normal cells of, of the stomach. And then as a result of some injury, those cells uh, they'll get inflamed and then they get substitute with different types of the cell. And then people will have intest incomplete intestinal metaplasia and then complete metaplasia. My whole presentation is based on the article from gastroenterology from 2020. Article still stands. Uh, and it's how to manage patients with gastrointestinal metaplasia. I will summarize for you. However, the link is posted below. You can read it for yourself. The concept of formation of gastric adenocarcinoma have been with us for ages. I remember I learned it in medical school more than 35 years ago. So a person have to have a chronic gastritis. Under the insult, this gastritis will convert to atrophy. Under the insult or injury, atrophy will con convert into intestinal metaplasia. And as insult continues, it will be converted to dysplasia and eventually into invasive cancer. When person is complaining about uh, pain, acid reflux, so those patients will go for endoscopy. And only about 20% of those patients will have on biopsy gastrointestinal metaplasia. So you need to, to hear that. Not every person who has clinical symptoms will have metaplasia, okay, only 20%. Now, let's go to this slide. Out of those 20%, annually, conversion into stomach cancer will be about 0.2.4%. It's a really small percent, but look again at that. Metaplasia will convert to dysplasia and only then cancer. So it's a small percent. That's the answer to you. Why it's a, oh, one of the answers why gastroenterologist is not in a hurry to schedule next a gastroscopy. Here is one more point: person have to have extensive and severe gastrointestinal metaplasia in order to see the conversion of that into invasive cancer. Both antrum and corpus have to be in uh, uh, affected to have a higher rate of the conversion. So if person sends me results of gastroscopy and I'm looking at that and it says the pinpoint changes gastrointestinal metaplasia in the antrum of the stomach, it's like, I'm not concerned and your gastroenterologist is not concerned. So you do not meet criteria to go for the next endoscopy. So, but who are going to be qualified for the next endoscopy. And the rules in Europe and in the United States are different. In Europe and Britain, surveillance of patients who have intestinal metaplasia is done every three years. Why? Surveillance of patients at risk with intervals up to three years allows for an early diagnosis, diagnosis of gastric cancer and thus improve prognosis, improves outcome, okay? Clear? So it's a good idea to do every three years. It's not done in the United States. Ask me why. Oh, I love to elaborate on that. And the answer is health insurance. In Europe, everybody is covered. Universal health uh, insurance in the United States. Very few of us are covered. And especially we have a low coverage among African-American, Hispanic, and uh, American Indian citizens.
So they have a low coverage. However, they have high level of invasive cancer. Why? Because when they have complaints, they do not have insurance to go to gastroenterologist and to do gastroscopy. Okay. As a result, just think it's it's think about it. concept is fascinating. It's mathematical, right? If you are United States will adopt this concept and let's do a survey of people survive do surveillance every three years for people who've been diagnosed with intestinal metaplasia every three years. So what will happen? We will have a high surveillance rate, but our mortality is not going to change from gastric cancer because there is a huge percent of populations such as African American, Hispanic, and uh, Native Americans are not covered. So as a result, United States numbers will look really terrible, right? We will be surveying people. We will do da, 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 da. Mortality is still high in the United States. So insurance, guys, when it comes to health insurance, I'm sorry to tell you people and Republicans, I'm with this guy. Affordable Care Act or Obamacare, whatever it takes, we need to have insurance for people. Okay, this is my contact information. Now, what the United States decided to do, how we, did, we will overcome that, what they do, they incorporate it into a um, guideline. Couple of words, they, they say, family history. So if person comes and complains to gastroenterologist, oh, I have a family history of certain types of cancer, that gives the gastroenterologist or primary care physician incentive to get and uh, obtain health insurance for this person. So state insurance, Obamacare, whatever it is, all right? So then they will be, uh, uh, they will do gastroscopy, biopsy. If there is metaplasia, they will be survey, sur surveillance three years, every three years for this person. Now, so family history becomes very important because family history will be higher in those people, African-Americans, natives, and uh, Hispanic. Now, I, you can see here questions, right? My suspicion, there is a conversation already, a lot of conversation in medical community about genetic predisposition. Genetic testing is uh, readily available, becomes cheaper to do, and there are certain types of cancer if person has it's called Lynch syndrome, endometrial, breast cancer, colon cancer, there is a high chance that a person will have stomach cancer. So if patient has a family history or genetic history, genetic history is not yet incorporated in guidelines, but it's will be. So then the person will um, go and do uh, insurance and gastroscopy. Okay, bottom line, already? So who is going to get... Um, more screened, people who have chronic inflammation, gastritis, particular people have H. pylori because H. pylori is chronic gastritis. So, and I and please treat it. Okay, I don't care how you're going to treat it. You can do triple therapy, quadruple therapy. You can do natural substances. Just show me the results that you don't have H. pylori because it's chronic gastritis and it's over the time could be converted into a, a cancer. People who have ex, uh, extensive and severe intestinal metaplasia will get uh, endoscopy every three years. People who have both antrum and corpus will get endoscopy every three years. People who have small intestinal metaplasia plus family history means that there is a genetic predisposition every three years. So you can see if this person sends me gastroscopy, oh, there is a small there, intestinal metaplasia someplace. No, no, no. Intensive and severe plus antrum, plus corpus, plus family history. These people who will be surveyed every two years and even annually. Doctors are not going to get it, you know, passed just because. Now, I'm done. My last word from uh, Veronica Wax. You saw this picture in the beginning and I pointed to it. This is the normal tissues. Then insult happened. And then uh, cells will have inflammation and then they will get substituted and you will see incomplete in metaplasia uh, and then complete gastrointestinal metaplasia. I am very adamant to address this problem of injury. 
okay? What's that injury means? Injury means that something that you're not doing right, it's your diet, something that you are eating, it could be coffee, it could be chemicals in your diet, okay? People, person could smoke, that also will contribute to gastric uh, cancer. So those um, injuries, this damage that done to uh, gastric mucosa or esophageal mucosa have to be fixed. That's what I am looking for. I'm trying to identify the cause and then intestinal metaplasia could be reversed. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.